Hey, what's up? I just took the Miele CM, uh, I forgot the model number, 6310. I just took it out of the box. Um, I just started doing a bunch of stuff, but I figured it'd probably be better if I just film it so I don't have to go back and do it over again. Plus, you get to see what it's like taking it out of the box and how intuitive the setup is and all that stuff. So I started, but I'll explain what I did. Um, didn't get very far. So you're kind of like right, you're jumping in right in the middle of it. So first off, the box, uh, it comes really well packed, surrounded in these styrofoam boxes. Um, what's cool about this is they thought about, so other espresso machines that we used to carry back in the day, maybe like five or six years ago, they were extremely hard to take out of the box. You had to like flip them over and like, you know, take the whole box and jiggle it and the espresso machine was upside down. The packaging design is a lot better on this. There's a place to grab the styrofoam on each side right here. So you just pick up the whole thing, grab it, and it all sticks together and you, then you could pick it up, bring it over here, set it on your countertop and slowly take off the, the wrapping and all that stuff. So it's way more convenient than, than other express machines we've unpacked before. I just basically unpacked it. I put it on here uh, on our countertop. This countertop is really small by the way. So this express machine may look bigger than it actually is. When I first took it out of the, the box and I took the wrapper off, one thing I noticed is the, the espresso machine is really like slick, uh, nice, and very like clean looking. There's no random parts just like sticking off. Uh, to give you an example, like some of the Seiko machines, they have those buttons that just like knobs and stuff are like popping out of the side. There's like a little twist knob for the um, for the steamer and the hot water. This brush machine doesn't have any of that. You can see it's all just like one slick, clean package. There's nothing popping out of here. This is just completely slick panel, uh, high gloss black, looks really nice. Um, it actually looks nicer than, than the pictures online, which is really, really nice to see. So someone's gotta take some better pictures of this thing. And, uh, and let's get right into it. So I filled up the, the water reservoir um, and plugged it in. And one thing that's cool is uh, about this water reservoir, um, I, by the way, I never look at the instructions before doing any of this because I just want to see how intuitive it is, how easy it is to set up. Um, and so basically this is, this is the first time I've done it and these are things that I think are cool when I first look at it. And as you can tell here, like even the top part, it's completely like slick. This looks like where you put the beans in. Um, this looks like you could probably put uh, pre-ground coffee in here. You can tell that it's just how everything is just in place and tight. It just really looks awesome. Uh, so back to the setup, sorry. I keep getting distracted. Back to the setup. Uh, all I did was plug in the machine and I filled up the reservoir. But let me show you what is cool about this reservoir. Um, so you see this? Let me see if I can get that in focus. Okay, you see how this is uh, dotted right here? Um, and this one also is. So you push it down and it does something. So water reservoir pushes down like this. It comes out like that, and then the lid actually becomes the handle for you to remove it, like this. And then this can be taken to your sink or wherever you're going to fill up your water. And it's a pretty, pretty light water reservoir, even if it's almost filled all the way, it's, it's still pretty good, but a decent amount of water. And then to give you an idea of how this would fold down, you'd basically go like this in your sink, and then it's wide open for you to just put the faucet right in there. So it's pretty easy and convenient, which I really liked. And then just goes right in, that's it. 
And then uh, when I started this up, I these are all touch uh, sensitive buttons. Um, so I held down the power button and it came on. And it took me through the setup menus. It asked me like, you know, the most obvious, like USA, uh, what country are you in, what language, and now I'm setting the time. It's 11.30, let's see here. It is 11.43. So, it's going up. There's a up button right here. So 11.43 um, AM. That was it, setup successfully completed. Okay, and now it's preheating. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a download progress bar here. Um, and that said preheating. So let's see here, it says use ground coffee. No. Ground coffee's probably okay if you're, if you're dealing with like a, a group of people that are gonna be using this machine and someone wants decaf then they could use the decaf option. That makes more sense. But if you're gonna use this machine, um, you should probably be using whole bean coffee most of the time, that's gonna be the best tasting. Uh, so the pre-ground coffee is kind of just for uh, the, those decaf people. So now, rinse appliance. Let's stick this cup under here. In case something comes out, you can see the lights here. This machine has lights, so you can see the cup. All right, it's rinsing. So when you see rinsing and you don't want it to just go straight into the drip tray, just put an empty cup under there. Um, maybe you don't care if it goes straight into the drip tray but I didn't want to clean up a mess on a brand new machine. So if I didn't have this cup in here, I guess supposedly it would have gone down here. Um, but that, you could test how well the drip tray works if it splashes everywhere, but not right now. And now it says select drink. Okay, so the setup is done. Uh, I think that's it. So the next thing I would do is I would fill up the this coffee ground reservoir here uh, with with coffee beans not not the coffee ground reservoir this is the coffee ground reservoir this is for pre ground coffee if you want to throw in some decaf this is for whole bean coffee let's see here and look when I actually opened this up the menu asked me if I'm gonna use ground coffee. Oh. So now it's rinsing again. This warning label is in the reservoir, so you're forced to read that before you fill it up with water. So I took this out, it says warning, um, please discard the first two cups of coffee that you make to ensure any gra coffee grounds remaining in the brew system from factory tests are removed. Um, so basically make two cups of coffee, discard them, and then that should rinse out everything in the machine because it's coming from the factory. Maybe they tested some stuff. Maybe there's some dust or something. I don't know. So you're going to make the two drinks, discard those, and then you're, you're set to go. And that completes the actual setup, I guess. Um, that's it. It's really cool. You can see it's highly reflective. <laughs> um, these lights are really nice. Let's see here. There's the uh, the LEDs under there. It's like the hot water spout here. And uh, this is the drip tray. This whole thing comes out. This looks like it comes off. And then this is where where it was rinsing into that we saw earlier. It's a rinsing part of this as well. Um, let's see here. What else? What else can we see? 
if we push it to the side. This is my first time doing this, by the way, so I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or if I'm going to break something. Okay, so it's a hinge, this little door. This is the this is what, what is tamping the espresso. So the grounds are probably coming into here. There's a mechanism that's tamping them like you would in a manual type of espresso machine. And then there's some kind of water spout that's pushing it through and then making it come out of here. So if you're, um, if, so part of, the, part of the clean, what I could guess from working with other espresso machines like this is that you know part of the weekly or daily cleaning regimen is removing this and rinsing rinsing off the grounds in the water in uh underneath the sink and that's it cool that's my first impression now i'm gonna try making some drinks and see how they are so here we go like how that comes off super easily This is all set up. And remember, you always discard the first uh, two drinks. That's what the directions say. It went into sleep mode, so all of this turned off. Uh, select a drink. Looks like this is the drink selection. That looks like a latte with foam on top. That looks like a regular cup of coffee. That looks kind of like a macchiato thing. That looks like an espresso. Okay, so here we go. Fill the bean container. So it's about this level, and it wants me to fill the bean container. Now in the instructions, it said, if this happens, just push, you know, make the drink again, because some leftover grounds were already in the machine, and those grounds didn't fill up the um, the mechanism. So I'm just gonna try to make the drink one more time. You can obviously see that there's still beans in there. So I'm gonna push okay. Second drink. Okay, so I um, rinsed the unit, um, did two drinks, discarded those two drinks, and now I'm just kinda like playing with the settings to see what's available. So these, these are, I guess are your main drinks that you'll always be using. This right here, this little box is like more drinks basically. So that, that one highlighted says Ristretto, Lungo Coffee, uh, Cafe Latte, Hot Milk, Milk Froth, Hot Water. Okay, so I was wondering how to get the hot water and it looks like you would just push OK. You you'd basically just push OK, and it makes any of these drinks. So you would put it here, and then the hot water would fill. Um, hot water, and then the last thing on here is maintenance. I don't know what that does yet. So back to the main menu. This right here. So that is two cups, and then when I push it, it gets highlighted. I'm gonna assume on that one that it's uh, double the portion. So we'll make maybe two drinks back to back or just double the size. Um, I'll put that somewhere here if that's true or false. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to get, see how intuitive it is. Um, this right here, it's like a little person. Um, so you can create different profiles for people who drink stuff. So you go like this. You can't see that because it's, there you go. So it says create profile. Let's try okay. And then it gives you the name and all that stuff. I guess that's, that's if you want to do like your favorite drink or something or see, because here I'll, I'll go into it more detail. To explain the profile, I need to explain something else first. So right here, this is the this is a bean. Sorry, it's so reflective that 
it's hard to focus on the actual menu. This is a little bean and it says parameters and it goes through all of the drinks. So I can put espresso here and it will say the amount of coffee, the brew temperature, pre-brewing, portion size, all of that stuff. So what I'm assuming is you could create different profiles that has your drink parameters based on you know what you like. And I think you could create up to four, four profiles. And this little guy right here, it's like a little arrow with a menu that just goes into the settings. There's language, time, timer, eco mode, lighting, all that stuff. This is like a really cool machine, first impression wise. Uh, it's great, it costs around $2,000, which is pretty expensive, but still cheaper and less time consuming than uh, a manual machine. And then this machine also has its own cleaning function, so you just follow the directions, do the cleaning, machine will take care of itself. Sleek European design with really cool lights.